I had this situation in the past where I was dating this girl. Okay, can you, can you um, and, and this is, don't, you're not going to know this girl. I was dating this girl and we had broken up and um, I had a friend call me and was like, yo, I'm out with, I'm out with your girl. This was like months down the line. She's like, I'm out with, you know, this girl at this club. And she's like coming on to me. And this friend asked me, do you mind? Can, do I, I'm asking you if I can hook up with your ex-girlfriend. Like essentially. And <clears throat> truthfully, it was hard for me at the time to say that, no, I don't mind. And I don't know if it was like an ego thing. If mm -hmm. I, if, if I felt like I said, yes, I'd feel like weak. Like my, my connection to my ex made me feel weak. So I said, I said, no, I don't mind if, if you hook up with her. And then they did hook up and it actually like hurt me mm -hmm. the next day. I was actually like kind of in pain. So oftentimes I'll, I'll, I'll feign a sense of disconnectedness for, I think it's my, it's my fucking ego is being like, I'm so nah, proud I of you for realizing this. Cause I've yeah. seen you do this so much. Yeah. Dude. It's, 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 it's what I do. It's, it's, um, I, I try to convince myself that I don't care. So I, I let my friends run amok. But I will say there is a uh, extreme comfortability, power, and confidence in being disconnected from women. Sorry, y'all. What, what did Post Malone say? This is, this is kind of ridiculous, but he said it's either bitches or, the com or money or the commas or bitches or the commas. Yeah, yeah. Right? Something like that. And like, it's, it's, it's a joke, but not really. Like, I'm just on a bit of a different mission right now, and I till, until I find the the woman who's gonna um, raise a family with me and who I fall in love with and give my heart to. Like, it, a lot of it is uh, um, extracurricular, if you will. And I try not to get too connected in the minutia of uh, relationships. You're terror, you're, and I, I don't know if it's, like an, if it's like an ode or an homage to the fact that you're a big hearted kid or whatever, but you are awful, awful at doing it. I, I, I'm as dis, I am as way as disconnected as you are in the exact same hunt as you are career in career and money and absolutely disconnected from the idea of dating, but you have always, um, overstepped that line and have been very, uh, have done a poor job of keeping, yeah, maybe it's not a poor job. Maybe I'm wording this the wrong way, or maybe you do a good job of it. But if you were truly disconnected, then this conversation would never even have happened on the show. No, Do you I know what I'm saying? I disagree, bro. It's you create, a, no, you, bro. You, you, you'll have, you'll have like an ongoing, um, mini relationship with, you know, a dozen girls at the same time. No, no, or, that's, or that's a lot. That's or say, a lot. Five. No, uh, Max is like four, four. four yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, or, or fuck nah, the number. Nah, fuck nah, the number. Nah, because, just, because no, because bro, I said this at the beginning of the podcast. These aren't like, these aren't girls. Correct. Like if I'm spending time, like that girl that we're talking about, bro, I've known her for six yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking years. Yeah. And so, yeah, man, I thought she was someone that it, she turned out to not be like through, through the development of her lives, her life and my life, we've, we've changed and, um, she's changed in a way that I just kind of want to wash my hands. Up. Like, I'm, yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry. I just do. I don't want to deal with it. So now I'm practicing that disconnected nature of like, we had, we had our time. It was what it was. And now like you're free to do what you want with your lives. I'm going to say to you what somebody said to me eight months before uh, I got into my relationship. Stop. Right? That's my no, no square. He said, <laughs> don't touch my no, no square. End quotes. <laughs> Uh, it was it was beautiful. <laughs> you 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 believe in like universe or higher power, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll use that in, in a reference to you. So you're saying that you want? Oh shit! Hold on. Yeah, okay, go for it. You want? Uh, you're waiting for the right girl. But what if the universe or higher power, whichever you believe in, is not giving you that because of how you're dealing with what you've already been getting? So like for example, well he's not looking for the right girl. No, I'm not saying you're you're treating them bad by the way. I'm not saying you're treating them bad. But what I'm saying is are you are you looking? Are you actively looking for it or are you just kind of like making dues of what you have now? No, I'm looking. Okay. I mean, I'm always looking at everything. I'm a looker. I look at things. He's an observer. But I thought you just said you're not in any way looking cuz you're focused on the craft and making money and shit. No. Oh, you just said bitches over commas or whatever. He's saying that's it's 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 true. like a, it's at this war path that I'm on at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> got absolutely. It, got it, got but it. like, man, and it may have happened already. If you if I find a girl that goes, nah, dude, like, uh, I'm I'm you, but a girl. Hmm. I'm gonna notice and recognize that hmm. and and pursue. Like I, I know when I'm gonna be in hot pursuit soon. I always think of you falling in love with like a 
a philanthropist. I said nice. it wrong. No, uh, you said it right. It's someone who fills lamps with wrists. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I've got this hollow lamp, and I'm going to fill it with, <laughs> with the corpses of old sailors. A Phil Lamperist. Phil Lamperist. That was amazing. Phil Lamperist. <laughs> he is. He is Chucky Finster Dude, from from My the tongue gets locked up he so is much. Chucky Finster. From wait, the wait, wait. I just. I. I want to wrap this up. I just want to say one thing, bro. This ha- with this one with this girl. Yeah. We had this incident happen two years ago where I was like, eh, I think she might have been a little. Di- me? Yeah, with she, me? Yeah, she grabbed her dick over at the club in, in, in an attempt to, like, get a ruse out of me. Uh, did it get I don't a ruse rem- out of I don't you? remember that, but I'm sure it's... I'm did de- uh, definitely did her I'm grabbing sure. your boys did get a ruse out of you? I used ruse in the wrong... It did, it did. <laughs> You're like, it did. No, at that time, I was Grab like... Grab his dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a ruse. Like not, not in a hot... Just like, no, not a fucking cock. She's just at home like, you liked it when I grabbed my dick? No. Yeah, you grabbed his love sex. I love it when you grabbed his love sex. <laughs> <laughs> you grab Mike's love sack. Go downstairs and grab <laughs> Kevin's. Go get my lamp so I can fill it. No, bro. It was the first time where I said, "Oh, I see what is happening here. I, this city's weird. <laughs> this it city's is. odd. It is. Logan, why would this girl that Logan, why would that this girl that answer. I've had an extensive relationship with grab my best friend's dick? And that was the first time I went. This place isn't for me. I no. Don't.